Up until now, I've always used pre-built pieces, the kind you pick up ready-made off the shelf. And while they get the job done, there are a few frustrations that finally push me to build my own. One of the biggest issues is performance restrictions. A lot of pre-builds are designed in a way that holds back the full potential of the components inside. You think you are buying a better PC with strong graphics card, but you are actually not getting everything it can do. And when it comes to upgrades or replacements, that's another headache. Many of these systems use non-standard parts, so if a power supply dies or you want to change the case, you can't just swap it with any regular component you see online. You are stuck buying proprietary parts directly from their company. That means fewer options, higher costs, and almost no flexibility. These restrictions are why I decided to take a different route this time. By building my own PC, I get the freedom to choose my parts, upgrade whenever I want, unlock the full potential I paid for, and most importantly, for less. So today I'm starting my very first PC build series as a beginner, and I want to share the entire journey with you. In this series, I'll take you step by step through the process of unboxing the parts, all the way to finally bringing it all together. And at the end, I'll share how it turned out, what I learned as a beginner, and the things I'll change about this build. So, if you are new to PC building or curious about breaking free from OEM restrictions, or want to experience building your own PC, stick around, watch the playlist, and maybe you'll be inspired to build your own custom PC too. Let's get started with episode 2, The Parts.